Hey everybody, welcome to the Geek Church and today we're going to do a special bedroom review and that sounds like something that is not as, <laughs> it's not as dirty as it might sound. Basically, here's the deal. I ordered a product from Brondell and yes, I realized that in the last video I pronounced it Blondell. Thank you for your comments. Um, but basically, this is a bidet and not just any bidet, it is the swash luxury bidet seat now i want to do an unboxing of it but usually i don't unbox something that is this huge so i had to get it in space and i gave it tiktok perspective because what the heck why not but hey if you're watching this on youtube so i'm sure you're having a fun time so let's open her up see what it is now first of all you guys know what a bidet is honestly i've never even really used one but i'm gonna live in a house that is gonna have one of these, provided it fits. Hopefully it fits. I did specify this, and uh, I'm just gonna open her up, see what's inside. Okay. Well, I figured I'd have something like this, an instruction booklet, and this one is kind of thick, at least for instruction booklets goes. I reckon that a lot of it is probably going to be in different languages. Let's just say it is. So what else do we have here? Well. I might as well get to this, a remote control. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. Once we get this installed, we'll be, I'm sure I'm going to be pushing every button on this sucker. In the meantime, there's also these little parts. Um, I'm going to put this to the side for now so I can get to the bidet itself. And, uh, hmm, that's strange. Uh, okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you can see it here. Let's see if I can get this uh, foam stuff out of it. Oh, man, that's awkward. Okay. Plugs into the wall. Let that be known. I guess there's some electricity involved here. But I guess that shouldn't, uh, shouldn't surprise me. And here it is. What will this do? How will this change my life? Oh, my gosh. I can't help but wonder how. And man, what else can I wonder about this? Well, let's put it this way. Got a lot of parts here. I can't even tell what this does. And uh, I actually think, uh, okay, there's this thing. Good luck trying to, <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, we got some hoses. This is good. I'm definitely gonna need some hoses if I'm gonna install this. Because we are, we're dealing with both plumbing and electricity. I suddenly realized that when we're doing a, a bidet. So who knows what we're going to get into. Oh uh, yeah. This looks important, whatever this is. We're going to talk about some of the stuff. Um, we're going to definitely like install this. I don't think we're going to do a video of us installing it. I'm pretty sure that could get uh, boring fast. Um, not like our trampoline video that was done in fast motion. Because honestly, I am not sure how much trouble I'm going to get into. Hopefully what's next is me with the bidet using it. Now, don't worry, we're not gonna do any shots of me in the bathroom actually using it, because honestly, there's one place you don't want video of me, and that's in the bathroom. We did the nude review a while ago, so, and that was just, got so, so many hits. Not, <laughs> see what I did there? Anyway, so let's go to the bidet. Okay, so we have actually unboxed this product and we have installed it as well. And yes, I'm reporting this from my bathroom. This is going to get as this is intimate as it gets. Not going to use a microphone. I'm just going to show this. Don't judge me if you see anything in my bathroom you don't like. Okay, got it. I'm going to keep the bathroom humor down to a minimum, even though we're in the bathroom. Last time I was in here, I was naked doing a review of this particular towel, but. We're not going to need any nakedness today, but you're not going to see me go to the bathroom on this. I'm going to try and do this as tasteful as I can. Anyway, here it is. It was not hard to install at all. In fact, it was super easy, barely an inconvenience. And what I want to direct your attention to is how you have to, uh, is this pipe here. Now this goes straight into the water that comes, that is used to fill your toilet. 
And um, since this is a bidet, it's designed to squirt water, you know where, um, something's gotta warm it. So as you can see, I have this cord uh, here and I had to get an extension because the cord here isn't really very, um, it's not that long. And unless you have a, an electrical outlet near your toilet, which I'm guessing is probably some sort of safety hazard, if you have it too close, um, yeah, uh, you might have to do a little uh, tricky work in order to get this to fit. But to get it to fit is actually really easy. Um, and honestly, you don't even need a plumber to install this thing, which I think is the best thing about this. Um, basically, all you need to do is shut off your water supply, which can be done on this, there's like a thing down here that you turn, shuts it off really quick, and then you just set up the pipe here as follows. Well, as the instructions say, and there was a great video that was included with this product that I just found online that showed me how to do it. This was so easy to set up. It's great. Now, I'll leave it up to you. It does, uh, I kind of wish I had a before and after shot of what my toilet looked like before this, but as you can see, it's quite large and it makes this uh, kind of crazy blue light thing go on the toilet here. Um, now, there's some uh, buttons on the side here. I'm going to push that, sh that I will show you where these nozzles are. So it's kind of cool. Let's see if I push this button. See that guy? Look at that guy. All right. Right now he's just squirting down, but I mean, he can squirt up. But um, this is not really something I can show you uh, without really sitting on it, because apparently a lot of this is tied into uh, this thing. Apparently you have to have flesh contact to do it. But um, yeah, what can I say? Little exchange of nozzles there. I think that's kind of cool. So, some of you might have noticed next to my TP is a remote control. Yes, this is what you think it is. It's a remote control for this thing. You might see this big stop button. Does exactly what it's uh, told to. Now, I don't think, unless I'm sitting on this, I don't think I can make these buttons work. Or can I? Actually, I think there's some. Oh, there we go. So, with this, I think I can make that happen. Okay. Maybe it has to be, maybe it's weight control. But, as you can see, uh, or maybe you can't see, but I'm going to hold this up. Oh! Okay, just want to make sure there's nothing going to be squirting at me here. <laughs> anyway, there's a control for the front, control for the rear. And um, you, if you want, you can have these nozzles move. And I'm not going to even explain what that is. But, um, and then of course there's this dry button. So there's going to be a lot less of this being used when you use this. Just to let you know. This thing is very practical. I like this thing. This is staying here, man. Don't you try and take my way my bidet. And I am actually a bidet family now. And um, honestly, hey, it's pretty cool. So, uh... Anyway, so this is the Swash. I will have a price on the article um, for it. I think it's the Swash 1400. And if I'm wrong, I'll mention that in the, um, in the description on the video. But uh, I wanna, just wanna show you, uh, see if we can't get any other things to work here. I'm gonna push the dry button. Okay, maybe I need to have my hand on this. Ah, there we go. Okay, so... Unfortunately, this is something in which I have to be sitting on it, and um, but I don't really want to do that due to taste, and honestly, what am I supposed to do? Get the camera underneath my... You can see where this is going, can't you? Um, needless to say, uh, this is a terrific product, and if you just if you want the luxury of a bidet so you can have a nice warm place to sit... Oh yeah, it warms the seat. The seat is very nice and warm. Uh, to place your tuckus on for when you need to use the bathroom. Honestly, I am really grateful for Brondell for uh, uh, letting us use this. And um, it's a terrific product. If you need it, the article will give you information on where to buy it and a link. And I highly recommend you do. Till then, this has been Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, signing off.